Welcome, this is Baller Scuba with Let's Play The Curse of Monkey Island. This is the third game in the Monkey Island series. Now, I've already done a vote video on whether to do the normal version of the game or the mega monkey version of the game. It was unanimous this time, and I don't think that's ever happened before. We're going to be doing mega monkey edition. So, we are going to go through this game, but first... There is a little bit of an introduction, so I'm going to go ahead and let that play. I will be talking as people talk throughout the game, but the introduction I will be quiet for. Captain's log, Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. Well, my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I had thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. Oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Mm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. Oh, my sweet Elaine. Am I cursed to starve here on this ocean without seeing your face just one more time? Am I...
times do I have to tell you, LeChuck? I just don't feel that way about you. Elaine? By my congealed blood, you'll learn to love me. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. I, I can't. I'm washing my hair tonight. Blast me your hair, woman! Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? You know, I don't think my father would approve of me dating the undead. And you're probably too nice a zombie pirate for me anyway. Let's just be friends instead. Chuck, you're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Darn your riddles, you saucy female! What do you mean? Ah! Oh! You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved, Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, uh, how romantic. Ship ahoy! Threepwood! Fish him out. Guybrush? Guybrush, Threepwood, by my gangrenous gut. I don't know how you escaped my carnival of the damned, but you won't escape a taste of my blood! <laughs> ah! Ooh, the lass has spirit. Throw him in the hole, and I'll finish him after the battle. Turn loose the long boots! And prepare the flaming voodoo cannonball. And now we begin part one. The demise of the zombie pirate LeChuck. It is about time that we finally send him forth on his demise. Wait. I've got to get out of here and help Elaine. Don't I recognize you? I can only get through this one door. Well, then I could easily overpower the armed guards above. Of course I could. Slip over the side and make for the shore. Sounds like a plan. Quit your mumbling, captive! You. You're a little familiar to me. Small pirate. Let's just walk over... Can I just... Blast ye scurvy dogs! Now here, they have changed the system again when it comes to how to manipulate the point and click. You hold it on what you want to do first, and then you can examine, push, This'll make talk you to rue the but, day. Yeah, that's all I have right now. I want to talk to him first, though. A little small Avast pirate. You swabs. Prepare for your doom. You look a little familiar to me. Stand back. Uh, yeah, who are I'm you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Who are you? I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose. Bloodnose? The wickedest fiend ever to sail under the banner of King Death. King I'd Death? I'd as soon chew your nose off as look at you. I'm not the one who got named after one time that I got a bloody nose. You wearing a fake beard? Are you wearing a fake beard? Bloodnose the pirate would not have a fake beard. Yes, it is. It's totally it's been fake. glued to your ear hair. Ew. Actually, it's a highly sophisticated beard weave, made from the chest and back hair of real pirates. Gross. I'm hoping it'll take root if I don't wash it for a while. That's even worse. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! It's Wally! Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. In the second game. Why would you sign on with a ship of the living dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audio books on Parrot, I've become a vicious corsair. Books on Parrot. You can too. 
Oh, you gotta love the humor. <laughs> you can too. Ask me how. You gotta love the humor in this game, or at least I gotta love it. Yeah. yeah, do you have anything I could look at? Do you have any literature I could look at? Here. How'd you get that on your... This leaflet explains the basic philosophy I follow. I see. Tell me about the... I guess I have to... Well, why not? Tell me about the seminars. Tell me about these seminars. The seminars really brought things into focus. You don't know how empowering it is to be able to say to yourself, Yes, I am a despicable, filthy, villainous pirate. You're a photographer. flame and censure. But that pirate is who I want to be. What happened to Everyone was really monocle. very supportive. We had this great feeling of synergy. Then right. LeChuck kicked down the door and said, You lazy scum, get back to work or I'll beat you with your own legs. That sounds like motivation to me. All right, tell me about the lectures, the motivational lectures, I guess. Tell me about these motivational lectures. Well, they weren't lectures as such. Just it was what the Chuck described as flogging the inner child. What? That does not sound good at all. Tell me about the audiobooks then. Tell me about these audiobooks. To become a pirate, the audiobooks on Parrot are the key. You get a set of 12 parrots, one a month. Return as many as you like. Keep them all and live. They <laughs> teach you to talk just like a pirate. All the key phrases are in there. Blow the man down. Shiver me timbers. Who's a pretty bird? All the phrases a pirate needs to command respect on the high seas. Now that I think about it though, what does blow the man down actually mean? Does it mean like blow the man of war down? Like are we talking about another ship? I guess that's what it would mean. Yeah, set me free, Wally. Set me free, Wally. I can't, Mr. Brush. I'm the evil pirate blood nose now. And besides, even if you got up on deck, LeChuck would cut you to ribbons. Probably true. For those of you that are a little lost as to who this guy was, in the second game, he was a cartographer that was in the entire game, and he ends up coming along with us. I think he got captured uh, partway through the game, and then we held him off there. He had a monocle that we ended up stealing over the, uh, the eye that is now covered by an eye patch. What's behind the door? What's behind that door? Ooh! That's the door to LeChuck's treasure hole. Oh, I want in there. There's heaps and piles of gold and silver. That could be he's somewhat useful. He's all the loot he's ever stolen to give to Elaine. Ooh, LeChuck really? is convinced that he can buy Elaine's love. Elaine ain't no gold mm. digger. No, she, she loves me. Only me. Where are his plans? What are LeChuck's plans? He's been working on a secret weapon. Some incredibly powerful cannonball. He's going to use it to blow down the walls of the fort, so his crew can overrun the island. Snap out of it? Snap out of it, Wally. Does this work? That's blood nose to you, you scurvy sea bass. Did you call me a sea bass? Am I at least Chilean? Uh, you're, yes, you are a failure as a pirate, Wally. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish. You're just gonna call me One fish more all the time? Peep out of you and I'll do you in. Uh, oh, this one's actually kind of important. I believe that I want to say... Actually, I'm not sure which one. No, I'm just gonna go with the obvious peep. Peep. Yes, scabrous swab. One more word and I'll let you have it. Can I say word? Yes. Uh, this is obviously the right answer. Word. That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna... I'm... gonna... <laughs> oh. Now I feel um, bad. I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> I undid all his motivational You're lectures. Right, Mr. Wood. Three wood. I'm just not a pirate. Oh. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. You just want a map. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ah! 
Oh, poor oh, there, Wally. There. I tore him down. But now I can pick up the plastic hook. That's mine now. Wally, how you doing? I don't want to disturb him. Yeah, it's probably for the best. <laughs> He's had a hard day. That he has. Uh, can I go through the door? It's still locked, it looks like. I couldn't force that door open with my bare hands. Can I examine it? Look inside. What do we got? I see a diorama of the children of the world living in peace and freedom. So nothing. No, way. It can't be that. It's just too dark to make out what's in there. Nah, it's too bad. So, let's see what I can do with the cannon. Can I use the cannon? I can! And oh, and I can move it with my mouse. Very nice. Fire! Hey! You're getting a little close there, pal! Okay, fire! Yeah! Okay, Watch where you're shooting. let's go like there. A little higher, maybe? Oops. Ooh, a little lower. And over here, maybe a little bit. Hi, it's Charlie, you old. I'm on my own side. That was me. Uh, sorry. I'm on no one's side because nobody is on my side. And down you guys. Yeah, down they go. Hey, I'm and getting pretty good at this. I am. I am the best cannoneer of all time. Ooh, 